Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. Before we get started, what are we drinking today? Overlook Hotel's White Winter Ale. If you want the recipe, get the link above our heads. Today we're going to bring to you another third installment for our Season 3. It is Leatherface, 1990. So this movie was directed by Jeff Burr. He also directed Stepfather 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Puppet Masters number 4 and 5. And uh, Pumpkinhead 2 as well. So he's like the horror movie sequel guy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The movie was written by David Shaw. He did the screenplay for The Crow. It stars Kate Hodge as the main lead, Michelle. It also stars William Butler, who's in quite a few horror movies, and he's actually a writer for some horror movies too. He was in the Tom Savini remake of Night of the Living Dead, which we covered in our first year. Yeah. Let's try to get together and get, get some of this damn, damn shit done. done. He's also in uh, The New Blood. <laughs> yeah. Viggo Morgenstein, he, he's in this, one of his first roles. He's in The Road, which we covered. If you ever want to see his balls slapping <laughs> around, you know, watch Eastern Promises. <laughs> balls are all slapping around. And another horror movie legend is in this, and that's Ken Foray yeah. from, of course, Dawn of the Dead. Grab the walkie-talkies. <laughs> so the movie starts out, it's just a guy narrating, right? It's not John Lorikett. No. These murders never stopped, right? Somebody's still out there. Yeah. Michelle and Ryan, they're going to deliver the car that they're driving in to Michelle's dad. They hit an armadillo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course, and in Texas. They end up rolling up to this crime scene. Police have uncovered an open grave with dead bodies in it and stuff, right? Scooping out, like, body parts and... These heads? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> all uh. that sludge shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and this, they're all melting. Yeah. And the one guy is like, oh, man, I think I'm going to throw up. And it's this cop, I think, that makes it even more creepier. It's like, don't stop for nothing. Just keep going. So they stop at the last chance gas station. All of a sudden there's some ooh, ooh ah, ah, this is one, <laughs> one of those Halloween laughing things. Yeah. <laughs> the gas station attendant guy, I guess that's his little thing where he kind of scares people <laughs> and then he takes a picture of them. Oh, that's a good picture. There's a guy named Tex that he had pulled in too. He got dropped off. Tex tells him about this shortcut that's not on any maps. It's a new road. While Michelle is in the bathroom, He's all peering at her, kind of psych like psycho, Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Tex sees this, and they get into this big confrontation, and they start yeah. fighting. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing? This is my place, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't ruin my place. <laughs> Dude, whatever the fuck I want my place. He goes in, and he gets his shotgun. Tex is like, well, you guys better get the hell out of here. Get moving. Go, go, go. Ooh, we yeah. see Tex go down. And, and all this confusion, they take that special road that yeah. Tex told them about. Cuts to the last chance gas station again. This big truck lighting up. It's Armageddon! Yeah. He's all, He's all sh <laughs> shooting in here. It's Armageddon, <laughs> motherfucker! This big truck is, is chasing after Michelle and Ryan. And it's the Leatherface Mobile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly smash on the windshield this dead animals and they end up blowing a tire in the whole ordeal and it's a great scene because it's just quiet and they hear this kind of squeaking and she keeps shining the, the flashlight out and then out of nowhere <laughs> Leatherface finally shows up he's all strong yeah, he rips off like the top of the trunk and they drive off he got her trunk <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Benny has been driving now this is all dead music <laughs> tries to avoid them and they all end up kind of going into the ditch. Benny, he goes up to Michelle and Ryan and kind of ends up patching them up a little bit. Gives them some drugs to help them with their pain. And they're trying to explain to him, no, there's this guy after us with a chainsaw. But now they're too out of it to even really get away from Leatherface. And Ryan gets caught in a bear trap. Fuck! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she keeps running. She runs to the family house. And they end up capturing her, nailing her to a chair. <laughs> yeah. Benny has to try to save Michelle. And that's where we're going to end it. Keep watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 Leatherface if you haven't seen it. Because it is one of my favorite Texas Chainsaw sequels. Oh, I yeah. Think it's, yeah. 
I think it's great. It really lives up to the spirit of the first one. Yeah. It does, it does the series justice. The production value of this movie is really good. The cinematography, yeah. the atmosphere. And it wasn't shot on studio, on a set somewhere. It was shot outside right. at night. And those are hard shots to get. Yeah, and they do a great job like with all the little details. The bog that's all kind of bubbling. Yeah. And Tinker when he, uh, with the flares on yeah. the road and stuff like that. Each scene is like a setting almost. Oh, there's always a lot of fog and mist. Yeah. The atmosphere is so good. Like it really yeah. makes it really takes you into the movie. The comedy like with Alfredo, the, yeah. all the stupid <laughs> shit that he says, yeah. right? It's funny, but it still kind of works because this family and these people who are associated with it, they're all weird. So it works. Yeah. So yeah, let's go through the family, like the characters here. We got Alfredo. <laughs> yeah. You know, Alfredo <laughs> cleans, does have to work. <laughs> <laughs> Is it soup, soup yet? yet? You're please don't pour down my face. <laughs> Tinker, who's like the kind of uh, brainiac. And he uh, rigs up the new system for the sledgehammer, the kind of pulley system. You got Mama with, with the, the voice box. Right. So, like, every character has all these really cool, specific things that define them. Yeah. That really makes them memorable. Of course, there's Leatherface. Yeah. And, and his look in this movie is really cool. Like, he looks really grotesque. You can just smell him almost, right? <laughs> yeah. And they, they added a little new kind of characterization for Leatherface and that's the leg brace. Yeah. With that squeaking which you hear throughout the movie which is a really, really neat thing. Yeah. He's got his own special saw now. Yeah. The saw is family. Right. Ken Four is an awesome character in this movie. Yeah, and he's pretty badass. Yeah, he is, yeah. Like when he confronts Alfredo in that bog <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you people do here? <laughs> Booby chips? Come on knitting! <laughs> Just 15 seconds! I always thought that was so funny. He gives him an exact yeah. 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Just 15 seconds. The music is uh, very good. It complements this movie so good. There is that very 90s heavy metal during all like, the kind of fight scenes and like, yeah <laughs> it, it, it overshadows the scenes yeah it you does know? yeah and, and it really doesn't fit either made it hokey yeah but the the incidental music the score is really good mm -hmm. like i love the intro for this movie ah, yeah boom yeah it shows leatherface dragging this body in and sewing up the mask like the music that takes place during that is really creepy i really like yeah, it and they're almost paying homage a little bit to maybe nightmare on elm street or something yeah. where he's like making the claws yeah exactly you know, and yeah. stuff this movie does not reference the second movie really all that much at all yep. but it doesn't disregard it a drayton sawyer in the second movie says well the saw the saw is family you know and, and of course in this movie engraved on the saw is the saw is family yeah the same actress who plays stretch in texas chance of massacre 2 is in this as a reporter According to the director, the idea for that was it is the same character. It's not just a cameo by the actress. That is supposed to be the same character from the second. And she's kind of upgraded from being a disc jockey to a news reporter. And she's kind of still chasing yeah. Leatherface. From a one second from, thing. Yeah, it's like, like, how the hell are you supposed yeah. to get all that? <laughs> No, the only way I got it was from the commentary in the DVD. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I think the director's point is lost. Yeah, there. completely lost. When this movie was originally made, they struggled to get an R rating, and they had to cut so much stuff out. The version that was seen in theaters was way tamer than the version you'll get on DVD, the unrated version. You know, there was a different ending for this movie, too, that was shot. If you get the DVD, you do get to watch the original ending for this movie, which I actually prefer. The trailer for this movie is super cool. Yeah, and I, I've never seen it, actually. No, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of like a nod to the Excalibur. <laughs> <laughs> story right and it, it it's a great trailer go check it out it's leatherface staring at this body <laughs> of water and like the lady of the lake from like excalibur brings her arm up and it's a <laughs> chainsaw as opposed to excalibur and she throws his chainsaw and leatherface catches it <laughs> <laughs> 
He turns <laughs> around awesome. and it's like Leatherface. It's like, oh, what a cool trailer. That's so cool, yeah. yeah. I think maybe the reason why it's forgotten, though, too, is because the second one was so different, right? And so it's like the black sheep of the family. Yeah. So that one always gets talked about because yeah. it's so weird. After the third, then it gets even more weird or stupid. Yeah, because everyone talks about the fourth one because that's so Yeah, it's so bad. weird. <laughs> and so the third one gets lost in the mix of yeah. all of that, right? It's actually the most normal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Yeah, it, exactly. You know? It's the most normal of all the sequels. <laughs> but it's still good. Yeah. And it, and it needs some love. So show it some love and go watch Leatherface. Leatherface.